the, the wax literally comes out like that. Almost like paint. Paint, yeah. Almost like paint. So I'm excited to get the whole thing out. So y'all ready? About to dip my hair in. This is me scratching my scalp. It was like a long time ago that I didn't separate it, so it was too late type of deal, so I just leave it as a Congo. Welcome back to another video! I'm about to ask the words, Universe Today is a new day! Hey, we got a what? We got a... So today we're gonna be washing my drill locks. I've had a wax, bleach, everything added to my hair. So my hair looks like this currently. So by the time I come out of there, it looks different. Then you know who did it onto who. Seems like, what is this color? Seems like there's some kind of nastiness going on up here. We wanna get rid of it. It's kinda like a wax, so that so it's kinda like thick. Like it's, it's not too thick, but it's thick. But one of the things that I noticed is it kind of flakes off on your black shirts or black suits, or because I wear a lot of a lot of times suits. Uh, it gets all over my my suits, and I hated that. So I usually keep it like in a really high ponytail, so that if it comes down, it comes down in my hair. So my hair has not been ACV rinsed for about I would say two months, maybe. Yeah, I would say two months. So I'm excited to see the result that ACV rinse can make on this hair. ACV rinse is mainly made for to get like gunks out, a lot of stuff that you can't really get to with your hands or with your fingers or with a shampoo. So this I think will be a benefit to getting rid of the wax. So we will see the result at the end. But stay tuned, like the video, share the video, and comment down below your thoughts. It makes sunshine shining on the rainy day. That's the before. Let's see what the after will look like. Your scalp is going. Dip it. Ah! You okay? You get dip the back of your head. Uh, what kind of glass is that? Are we throwing that away? Yeah. They don't have a, a spot for me to lay down. That's the only one. Mm -hmm. Smells terrible guys, by the way. By the way, by the way, by the way, stop. By the way. Is there something coming? Huh? like that almost like paint paint yeah almost like paint so i'm excited to get the whole thing out so y'all ready about to dip my hair in
with the shampoo and conditioner. Really good for dandruffs. Alright guys, I just got done washing my dreadlocks and it's back to the original color. Jeez. It's the original color. What I noticed about my dreadlocks is that, you know, as times goes on, I see them like fairly thinning, losing its integrity, curling up on the bottom. It kind of lets you know that, you know, it's coming out when it's curling up on the bottom. Because of the things that I've done, and I, I do not, in a way, I don't regret it. In a way, I do I do wish that I had just never done nothing with my hair, but i just been doing what you guys request. And uh, yeah, man, this journey is all together as ours. It's not just mine, it's ours. You guys have seen how ugly it looks. Uh, once those gunks and everything nastiness was over there it was just like not ugly as in dreadlocks I'm talking about the nastiness that there was over there you want to think like dang is this worth it you know is this doing all this worth it and uh, to me it is you know to me it definitely gives me a purpose a set of purpose I think I can ever see myself being a lactician and uh, not doing something with it like some guy like putting th my dread through something in a way uh, it definitely needs a break now I notice for it to recover and different things uh, you know hold firm but right now I'm actually kind of like detangle my hair kind of like what is recommended after shower and basically your hair tend to kind of like tangle itself up with others once you like go in the shower and different things or the fact that I haven't retwisted for a while also doesn't help and I just basically go down and uh, find out where the hair belongs so as you pull down, you kind of see which hair goes which where. And so you want to just do it as much as possible to the bottom. And kind of like move it 360 too, because sometimes it could be holding on to this and another drill locks on the side. So so when I kind of move it, I kind of feel tension back here. So this drill lock right here is kind of like interwind itself with the other. So I'll go boom and uh, yeah, kind of like start finding anything that's kind of like really interwined. This is very natural and normal, so don't be scared to go down on it. You're not going to thin out your dreads or anything. The only way you can thin out your dreads is if you actually cut those parts. If you try to like scissor it, it will actually thin out. You see this pulling the mess out of this right here. Like, what are you doing? And it kind of like just keep on lifting other hairs to see, you know, what is tangled. I do have some locks that are like really combined like this it was like a long time ago that I didn't separate it so it was too late type of deal so I just leave it as a Congo so I don't want to make the same mistake though with the other one so unless they're thinning out then go ahead and let them combine but if they're not thinning out just keep on separating it kind of feels good too when you do that it's like a little bit of tension and the other way is like if it's not coming out after you go down like this and it's like a huge hair trying to find out where the root is so you don't pull from it so this is not the root the root is down here so I'm just gonna pull out the hair out of there like you don't belong there and then just lay it back down and you want to do your retwist of course if you haven't done retwist for a while uh, or you want to do like a water retwist where like you know just as you go along just go boom and just go boom you can do that too but I'm getting actually a retwist so I'm not gonna do that. All right, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment down below. Till next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. This is how you ACV properly and get your hair the most 
healthy as possible. One tip that I can give you is that do not retwist your hair and crochet needle at the same time. If you want to go for a length, you want your hair to be really long, just, just twist it. How I just showed you earlier, just twisting it and then boom, with a gel or whatever. Uh, if you crochet uh, needle it, it will actually end up making your hair shorter if you're a type of person that is going for a length. So that's a quick tip and quick trick, but I'm going to do a whole video about that coming soon. Till next time, keep back to the universe and create your universe. I'm Activerse and I'm out. Thank you guys so much and I love y'all. Appreciate everything that you guys have done for me and time to get into the next video. Subscribe.